Ultimate Iron Man, a completely self-sufficient mode of playing with no banking. These restrictions make it one of the hardest challenges RuneScape has to offer. But I want to make it more difficult by remaining at 10 hit points, 1 defense, and 1 prayer. With these limitations, I plan on collecting some of the rarest items, equipment, and pets. Let's get into it. Okay, so to start off my count, I got enough marks for a graceful set, which put me at 60 agility. And after I picked up my set, I did a bit of questing. I'll just be putting these lamps on the strength until level 15, which is when I unlock barbarian fishing. If I want to kill anything at 10 HP, I'll need to obtain a weapon that doesn't give hit points experience, and for that, I'll be using the dwarf cannon. Now it does cost 750k, so to get the gold to purchase it, I'll do a bit of last man standing. Here for 3 points you can buy 300 rune arrows, and after getting a few of these I'll just sell them to the arrow shop in Catherby. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, just killing a couple things here for a Druidic Ritual. It's the last quest I'm doing for now. After this, I think I'd like to build a wardrobe so I could store my graceful set. So yeah, I'll probably go and smash out a bit of construction. Okay, I got this wardrobe so I could store my graceful now. I also built this pet house, but I don't even have a pet, so I might just go get one real quick. So I got the thieving pet. I don't have enough to insure it right now, but I did make 8k cannonballs, so I think it's time to start some slayer. I'll be doing my slayer training in the wilderness. While I'm here, other players in my combat bracket can attack me. And if you didn't know, Ultimate and Iron Man, when they die, all their items will get dropped on the ground, and then they disappear after one hour. So if I get killed by another player, I'm losing everything. Yo, get the hell out of here. Oh, I can't even wear it. Oh well, that's still pretty cool. I guess I'll go and store it in my house. Now normally I'd be able to deposit this and take it out, but since I'm an ultimate Iron Man, this piece of armor will be stuck in here until I get the rest of the set. Hey, I could use that with the uh, the iron I got to make cannonballs. I got another 600k, so I'm gonna go and share this guy now. There we go.
Oh yeah, I got pretty lucky. Okay, I made more cannonballs. I'm gonna use them to kill the chaos elemental. Cause, uh, I want the pet. So, I start by standing over here after I place my cannon on this tile. Now, I need to be able to control my cannon from a distance. I can do this by clicking an emote I don't have. This will stall my cannon by opening a chat box. And to fire again, I just close the chat box. After I shoot the chaos elemental, I wait for its health bar to disappear, and I pause my cannon so it's aiming this way. After the health bar disappears, I run over here. This will shoot my cannon, which double flinches the chaos elemental. And from this spot, I'm safe to reload. One last thing, when I'm setting up in between kills, I need to make sure I hit the Chaos Elemental as soon as it spawns. If I don't, it could wander north, and if it wanders north, it could kill me. Oh yeah, there's a new update today so I can mark tiles now with shift click and they also made it so I could see the combat bracket that I'm in.
No way. I got it. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh yeah, check this out. 30 combat, which is 57 range. Fifty-eight range. Oh, I forgot to empty out the remaining cannonballs. Oh, thirty-one combat. I picked up some more money, so just insuring this guy now. Here we go. So I got 58 range. I ended up making around 35,000 cannonballs, which put me at 65 smithing. And that was 187 kill count. I'll show you my collection log. I didn't really get anything. I only got the pet. But I think that's a pretty good place to end it. I'm pretty satisfied with the progress I've made so far. <laughs>